Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. You are learning with Dr. Shobha Nikam. In this video, I'll talk about SR latch. So before I start with SR latch, you must understand difference between latches and flip-flops. So in latches, we get output immediately. Whereas in case of flip-flops, we need to wait for a clock input. So we can say latches and flip-flops both are memory elements only difference is latches are level triggered whereas flip-flops are edge triggered or flip-flops wait for clock to generate output whereas latches can generate output immediately so latch is a basic building block of any sequential logic circuit so we'll start with latch so here this latch has two inputs, S, R, that is set, reset, and two outputs, Q and Q bar. So, you need to remember in latch or in flip-flops, other input is always complement of first input. We can implement this S, R latch using either NAND gates or NOR gates. So, here I'll demonstrate using both gates. We'll start with NAND gate. We can design SR latch using two NAND gates. So two inputs are S and R and two outputs are Q and Q bar. Second input to NAND gate is Q and Q bar. So here and here It means no connection here. Connections are at this point. Now let's verify truth table of SR latch. Here, what I have taken? Two inputs S, R and QN plus 1. It means next state output. So I will write this as present state output QN, QN bar. And of course, QN plus 1 bar is complement of QN plus 1. So, to understand this working of this SR latch, let's first understand the truth table of NAND gate. So, this is our NAND gate. It has two inputs A, B and Y. NAND is what? Complement of AND. So, in AND gate, when both inputs are 1, then only output is 1. Otherwise, output is 0. So, here in case of NAND gate, when both inputs are 1, then only output is 0. Otherwise, if any one input is 0, then output is 1. So, you need to remember if any one input is 0 here, in case of NAND gate, then output is 1. So, let's start verification of our SR latch. So, you can start from, we generally start with first condition 0, 0. But here, we'll start with 0, 1. I'll tell, uh, tell you at the end why I have started with 0, 1. So, see here, 0, 1 means what? S is 0 and R is 1. So, S is equals to 0 and my R is equals to 1. In case of NAND gate, if any one input is 0, we will not check any another input. What is the other input? What we will do? We will directly say my output is 1. So, here instead of checking what is value of Q and bar, what I can say my output is 1. Why 1? Because 1 input is 0. So, here and this 1 will come here. This 1 will come here. So, for this NAND gate, both inputs are 1. When both inputs are 1, then output is 0. So, for 0, 1 condition, when S is equals to 0 and R is equals to 1, output is equals to 1. Now, let's verify 1, 0 condition. S is equals to 1 and R is equals to 0. Again, same rule will apply. When one input is 0, it means output is 1. So, here Q and bar will become 1. This 1 will come here. When both inputs are 1, here in case of NAND gate, when both inputs are 1, then output is 0. So, here my next output is 0. So, Q n plus 1 is 0. Then, when both inputs are 1, this is S is 1 and R is also 1. Now, we must check what other input is. Here we need to check what other input is. So, 
let's verify for both cases considering qn is 0 and qn is 1 so first i'll verify here s is 1 and my r is also 1 both are 1 i'll consider my qn is equals to 0 when qn is equals to 0 it means qn bar is equals to 1 so this 0 will come here 1 input is 0 it means output is equals to 1 this 1 will come here and because of this 1 1 when both inputs are 1 output is equals to 0 so output will remain same as previous output it means qn plus 1 is equals to qn if this is 1 if this is 1 so here 1 will come for 1 1 output is output will become 0 this 0 will come here so it will generate output 1 it means when both inputs are 1 then my next state output is same as my present state output and this condition we can call as hold state this is my hold state now let's consider 0 0 so here my s is equals to 0 and my r is equals to 0. What will happen when any one input is 0? It will generate output 1. Now, input to both these NAND gates is 0. It means both of them will generate output 1. But this is not a valid case. If Qn is 1, then Qn bar must be 0. Or if it is 0, then it must be 1. Both outputs can't be 1. So, this state is called as invalid state and that is why instead of starting with 0, 0, I have started with 0, 1. This is invalid state. So, in this way, SR latch works for 0, 0, output is invalid. For 0, 1, it is 1. For 1, 0, it is 0 and for 1, 1, it is whole. But remember, I have implemented this SR latch using NAND gates and that is why truth table is like this if i'll implement it using nor gates then truth table is different so now let's see how it works when we implement it using nor gate the diagram will be same only we need to replace nand gates with nor gates i have only replaced nand gates with nor gates here let's verify truth table for sr latch using nor gates and this is truth table of nor gate so you first know how nor gate works then only you will understand how this latch works so nor is what inverted or in case of or gate when both inputs are zero then only output is zero otherwise output is one summation is one zero one 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 zero one 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 Inversion of this OR is NOR. So, here for 0, 0, output is 1. Otherwise, output is 0. It means if any one input is 1, if any one input is 1, then output is 0. So, let's start verification uh, with 0, 1. S is equals to 0 and R is equals to 1 s is 0 and r is 1 here if any one input is 1 then output is going to be 0 will not check what other input is so here r is 1 it means output is going to be 0 when this 0 will come here when both inputs are 0 0 output is 1 so here output is 1 so for 0 1 output is 1 I am so sorry, I am so sorry here. You need to remember, uh, the mistake I made, you will also may, uh, make same mistake. In case of SR latch using NOR gate, the important thing is, what we always do, QN here and QN bar here. But in SR latch using NOR gate, whenever we use NOR gate, here comes QN bar and here comes QN. So, this is my QN and this is my QN bar. In SR latch using NOR gates, we always write QN here and QN bar here. So, here QN is equals to 0. So, for 0, 1 condition, QN is 0. 
फॉर वन जीरो कंडीशन नेक्स्ट कंडीशन इज वन जीरो एस इज इक्वल्स टू वन आर इज इक्वल्स टू जीरो वन जीरो सो इफ एनी वन इनपुट इज वन देन आउटपुट इज जीरो सो बेस्ड ऑन दिस कंडीशन हियर एस इज इक्वल्स टू वन सो आउटपुट इज गोइंग टू बी जीरो then this zero will come here and when both inputs are zero zero output will become one so for one zero condition output is one for zero one it is zero for one zero it is one next condition is one 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 it means both s is equals to one and r is also equals to one but see what is written if any one input is one then output is going to be Zero here for first NOR gate and for second NOR gate also inputs are one, so outputs are going to be zero. But is it valid? No, it's not valid. If one input is zero, other one must be uh, the inverted version of it. So this state is called as we can write it as invalid state. Invalid for one one output is invalid. Now let's verify zero zero. Let's verify zero zero. S is equals to zero and R is also equals to zero. When both inputs are zero zero, then output will depend on what what other input is. So S zero R zero. Let's assume Q n is also zero. So for zero zero, it will generate output one. This one will come here, and for one zero, it will generate output zero. so previous output was zero and now again output is zero it means next state is same as my present state similarly if this is one and this one will come here then for this one zero it will generate output zero and if this zero will come here for zero zero it will generate output one it means next state is same as present state so qn plus 1 is same as qn so this can be called as hold state so in this way when we implement our sr latch using nor, uh, nor gate then for 0 0 state is hold for 0 1 it is 0 for 1 0 it is 1 and for 1 1 it is invalid so in this way we can implement sr latch using either nand gate or nor gate Thank you so much for watching. If you feel this video is useful, share it with your friends, like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching.